Yo, what is going on, my husbandos and my foos? My name is Termzar, and welcome to another live reaction review of Sword Art Online Season 3 or Alicization episode number 9. Now, if you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. This live reaction is a little bit late uh, because I had to go to Home Depot with my little brother. I had to help build a sleigh with him. He does like the classes, like the kids' classes over at a Home Depot, so he learns how to like use the tools and stuff. My dad asked me to take him. I legit forgot, and he called me early morning like, hey, you're supposed to be here. I'm like, oh, shit. But yeah, uh, this is a little bit late, so I got like paint and dirt all over me, but it's all good. I had a good time with my little brother. But anyways, guys, if you're excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like, subscribe for more content. Um, Yeah, so let's hop into it. He's, uh, pr predictions, he's going to say Alice. I still, I still really like this opening. I know I haven't had it in like the reaction a while, but I, I still, I still heavy headbang to it. You know what I just realized? Cause we just saw Yui right in the in the intro. Does Yui actually get to go into this underworld system? That'd be freaking tight. I, I have no doubt that she'd be, she wouldn't be able to. She should be able to. Oh my God! They're still here. They're still here. I, I hate them. Yeah, cause they're little fucking bitches. Oh shit, okay, so he's asking to be hit. I bet she's actually gonna... High Norkian style. Ooh! Let's go! Yujiro straight up stopped it! Whoa! I see, so that's his conceit. Ooh! Oh! Bodied! Bodied! A draw? No freaking way. No freaking way. That's that's straight BS. That is straight BS. Yujiro straight bodied him. Bodied! No, I want Kirito to beat him up. Stayed cool it. <laughs> Stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. <laughs> So it's actually been a, a, a clean minute since we heard of the Taboo Index. So I'm glad that they're kind of implementing that back. Because I completely forgot about it the past couple episodes. So Kirito is just... I like how Kirito is talking. We can't even hear what they're saying, but it's mostly focused on Yu-Gi-Oh. What the freak? What the... Golden Fox? Interesting. The, the hierarchy of this world is very interesting. I feel like I should have feel like she doesn't care. She just wants to be with Kirito. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Someone in my comment section was like, it ain't SAO without I can't say the word, but Oh shit. It's getting there. Fuck. Holy shit. It's getting that deep. I wonder what he did to her. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's really really bad. No but obligation. Oh, I love that Kirito is explaining this. Now this is Kirito's role right here. What he's saying right here is his role in the whole process of this whole underworld. She's so smart. I love how knowledgeable Kirito looks and sounds here. <laughs> oh shit, dude! Yujo's about to fuck his shit up. Deviant orders to Frenica. Oh shit. Oh shit, they're gonna say it. I hate I hate these two so much. Homeboy on the left that looks like goddamn Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! With, with yellow hair. Pegasus had like silver hair, I think, but he sounds like goddamn Pegasus. Yugi boy, but he's like Yuji boy. Anyways, I hate both of them, but he, of course, the one on the left is more of the, I uh, keep spitting, I so, I'm so sorry. The uh, homeboy on the left is, of course, always more calm compared to homeboy on the right. Humbert is always like fucking scratch, and you can see that scratch on him. Oh my god. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure more happened. Fuck. Oh my god. I hate these guys so fucking much. 
Stay cool. Stay cool. Cause hum Humbert is like a little bitch. No, Yu-Gi-Oh, don't do it! They're gonna use it against- Oh, I feel like they're gonna fucking use it against him. I'd be scared too if I had to marry someone like Zizek or Humbert. Little bitches. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, she's gonna, she gonna, ask, she gonna ask him to, to, get, to get married! Damn, Yu-Gi-Oh got a harem too! Oh, shit. I- I- I feel like they would use that against him. God damn. Okay. Wow. So there's a lot. There, there's a lot to uh, take in about this episode. There was a lot happening. Not not too many action except like right at the beginning where yu was like literally shitting on Humbert even though they were like, oh, it's a tie. No! It's no goddamn fucking tie. But overall, this episode, a lot of emotional buildup, a lot of real shit. And that's one thing that I really like about this anime is that they bring that real shit. Especially, obviously, she was extremely violated by Humbert because Humbert's a little punk that can't accept loss. That's so fucked up, man. And I hate that his... The seat one, Zizek, I think that's his name, but he's a piece of shit. He's pretending that he's batting an eye to the situation. Like, he's just doing his job. It's something that happens. That's fucking rude. And I hate how calm he is. It's like, it's kind of disturbing how calm they are. Though Humbert is kind of like, he's like really panicky at the situation because he's in, he knows he's in the wrong. And we also saw like when they're confronting Kirito, I mean, earlier on. He was always shook up. He was shaken up. He was the emotional one. I, either way, I feel like Humbert's gonna fight Yu-Gi-Oh. Girito's gonna fight the other guy, First Seed Boy. Honestly, like, this is a complete fucked up situation. It adds that craziness to, to this anime that I really do enjoy. That things that... I, also, I mean, I also feel like they, they, a bit of this is a bit censored. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, you guys also let let me know that whether if it's sped up or not, you guys enjoy it that way because uh, it, it's it's better at this pacing in some sense. But in the last episode, it wasn't as sped up as I thought it was. So thank you for clarifying for that. Continue to clarify things for me in comparison to the light novel because I feel like uh, in a sense, this is a bit censored. I don't know yet. I don't really know. Because even like in My Hero, when he said Chin Chin, they censored it to Willy. So. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, this episode had a lot of just emotional disturbance. And it's thanks for build up for Kirito's character development. Him as uh, the no uh, a student. A no what is he? He is uh, not nobleman's responsibilities, but pretty much he is someone, a higher rank. He's an elite member. There you go. That's what I was looking for. He's an elite uh, looking out for his pages. And the fact that another elite, one of the higher seats are abusing their pages it's definitely an issue and he wants to take care of that especially since he feels at some fault because the reason why the page is being treated this way is because of him defeating humbert technically it was no draw and humbert knows that it, there's just a lot of favoritism but overall this episode was really really solid uh i cannot wait people are finding this like a lot of the character development and this this portion of sao pretty boring i personally enjoy it and i like it a lot but anyways guys that is my review and live reaction if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have been giving me as of late once again i, I do apologize for being slightly late but you know we still out here anyways guys i will see you in the next one peace